We are back for more NCAA 14 college football revamp dynasty featuring the Riverside Royals. Got to find a way to make that intro a little bit shorter. But Riverside Royals action, we got massacred in week two, which was our first game of the season. And now facing the New Mexico Lobos. We don't want to be dead last in the Mountain West. And we are trending toward that as we are 0-1. We've done a little bit of recruiting, right? Players have moved up and down the board, as you can see. I'm not sure how much I'm going to update you guys, but there will be some battles. Nick Palmer is still the number one guy that I want. You know, he's a four-star corner. I think it's pretty tough to get that type of a talent at our type of a school. He just looks awesome, man. 84 zone coverage already. The speed should be pretty good. Even if he's not a 75, he's plus three right now. Even if he ends up being a little bit worse than this, 73 like worst case scenario like that's still awesome you have to be the highest player on the team rating wise by a lot marcus charles he's not the fastest receiver from what we can tell but the route running's decent offers some really good size at 6'3 it's gonna be a battle to get him the big battle though is gonna be with san diego state for jonathan horton another california kid going to be really really important to get him he's got awesome speed tackling pursuit power and finesse moves i mean this is just clearly a do-it-all player and i think a really really good player to get it's going to be really tough that's going to be a huge battle and um i'd like to get these guys scheduled for visits at some point but that's not going to be right now i've got these points allocated i'm trying to steal some of these players focusing on the defensive and offensive lines as well but that's not our focus right now, right? Our focus is the team in front of us, the New Mexico Lobos. They're worse than Colorado State is. We lost to last time. And we do have our first home field advantage ever. First home game in Riverside Royals FBS history. I'll tell you, the stadium is not exactly going to be packed. But we need to come out and, uh, you know, show everybody what we got and my big fear is that it's nothing we don't have anything we're really really bad we gotta we gotta steal one it's never good when you're looking you know at the other side and you see multiple 80 overall plus players including 286 plus on defense and we struggle to move the ball and then we have our best players it's uh it's pretty bad actually all right we need to be first do they keep turning my commentary on I'm the commentary. Get that off. All right, not exactly a packed house here for the Riverside Royals home opener, but we're going to try and get a win in front of the ones who did decide to show up and waste their Saturday afternoon. That's what it is. Let's be real about it. But maybe we'll surprise them and get a big win here. And we know the offense from last episode has to run through Trey Battle. That's the only way we're going to be successful. Our quarterback, Dorian Hood, has a noodle attached to his shoulder. And uh, the accuracy is much like a wet noodle. I mean, there's nothing there. Man, it's uh, it's really, really bad. It's going to be really tough to win games with him. A quarterback is we're going to just be able to throw it away. Our offensive line does him no favors. Third and four. You know, I would actually kind of consider a run here. If they didn't have a star middle linebacker. I'm looking at maybe a scramble. We're going to get out of the pocket. Hood, you got to be faster. Get the first. He's going to be just short. Three-yard scramble. Do we go for it here? Backed up on our own 31. It's a really, really bad idea. Because we're basically allowing a score if we don't get this. Let me just see what they line up in. And then we'll make a decision. Man, it's really three down linemen. We have a major advantage here. As long as we don't get beat on the backside. I'm going to snap this. We're going to go for it. Big blocks. Big blocks. Trey battled to the second level. Let's go, Trey. 15-yard rush on fourth and short. When your team is bad as we are, you got to take advantage of every opportunity and even make some opportunities when you wouldn't think that they're there otherwise. A little bit dangerous to go for it and maybe more than a little bit. A lot dangerous to go for it in that spot. But you know what? It paid off this time. They only had three defensive linemen. 
we got to look to be able to take advantage of that as we're going to go up the middle here and get stopped well short of where I thought we'd be. Second and eight run. The blocking was okay. They just had the numbers, man. They just had the numbers on the outside. And it will be third down and eight. We're approaching midfield. It's four down territory again here. We just got to be able to get a few yards. And we're going to scramble. Oh, man, their, their coverage is really, really good. Kind of just forced to throw it away there. And now we're going to have to punt. <laughs> the coverage we're facing this year is just immaculate. And Dorian Hood really doesn't have the arm. We need guys to be super, super, super open. And it's just not going to happen. As Malik James just got tossed and somehow just managed to hang on. I don't know what that was. First and 10, Erickson in motion. You got Cole in the backfield. It's going to be a read option. Actually, more of a... Oh, my God. He's still going. Eric Santos just saved a touchdown. Tavaka Tuioti just took off right up the middle. Broke a big tackle. I thought it was a touchdown. Incredible play by Eric Santos to keep this a 0-0 game. I am already worried. Run up the middle. Claxton got pancaked. Broken tackle from Outlaw. Cruise in pursuit. Zaire save a touchdown. And it's a 41-yard rush by Bobby Cole down the left sideline. Just went straight up the gut. Kicked outside, and then we were just forced, chase a, uh, forced to chase after him. Our defense is really not much of one. Another option play. Okay, that's so stupid, dude. Went for the hit stick, and he hit me with the little, like... I don't even know what that was. Just a little a sidestep, but he just, I don't know, he just turned weird. Touchdown, New Mexico. Not really a whole lot we could do on that drive. Probably could have tackled better on that last play. Probably would have been a broken tackle anyway. Our defense, man. Good lord. Give me a little run. Okay, we got killed. It's gonna be it's gonna be a problem today. Brandon Shook hit Trey Battle. I got a lot of lines for that. Battle, shook up. Going to be a battle to gain any yards today. That's off the top of the dome, dude. Who does it like me? Let's throw that. That's open. Steven Williams first down. I'm actually shocked that wasn't intercepted. Because I thought it was open, which means usually it's got to be a pick, right? Read option. Okay, they contained everything. I don't know how we're going to run the ball. I don't know how we're going to move the ball. We're going to try and get a little bit creative. We're going to go with a screen here. Cross screen, basically a rocket screen to Duval. I, I feel like you never see this play. And I think it had potential. Not great right there, but I think it actually had potential. Third and nine. We're going to go to Jason Garrett's playbook here and call a screen. This could end up being awesome. Give me some block. Man, battle is so slow, dude. Get up and out, man. I felt like the blocking was there. We just have no acceleration, no explosiveness, no burst after the catch. The guys just go dead. They just go dead. Get out there, Malik. Can't wrap up. All right, we're going to get killed this game. Another run. I mean, he just broke that tackle like it was nothing. <laughs> we're going to get killed. We got to come out with, like, minimum four defensive linemen. I don't know if we have 5-2 in this playbook. But that might be a good idea to stop the run. So we're going to go outside. Sutherland can't catch up. Cedric Patterson, 19-yard catch down the sideline. Big corner route. Beat the zone coverage. I mean, nothing there. We do have 5-2. I think I'm going to do that for the rest of the game. Pretty much. Just because their running game has been a real problem. So I figure the more defensive linemen, the better. Should make these gaps a lot easier to shoot. Just kind of missed it there. <laughs> it's a 12-yard gain. Uh, we're going to get killed. Riverside band going crazy in the end zone there. First and goal. Need a big stop. Counter. Make a tackle. Bobby Cole touched that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, keep feeding me. Dude was, how is he not tackled there at any point? And I was too caught up just watching the backfield. I, I thought for sure he'd be tackled. 
No. 14 nothing New Mexico. Oh, this season's going to be so rough. I don't know what we do differently there. That's the problem. They just move the ball at will. Maybe we try working off play action. I'll be honest. I clicked the wrong button. I wanted the running back. Saw pressure. I assume the running back was R1 like they are a lot of the time. Like they are in this play. Or like he is on this play. And uh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm not sure how much better it would be to the running back there. But it would have been better than the near pick that just happened. We got a little bit lucky. That's a good play on second down. Setting up third and short. I'd like to try and run the ball here. I think this is probably uh, probably going to go to battle. It's not. Got Dorian Hood up the middle. Decent blocks. Dorian Hood. Nice gain. Once we get a faster quarterback, read option is going to be so, so fun to run. But right now, Dorian Hood is just... He's really not good at anything. Dude, what is this? What is that? There's no hitting a player in stride. There's no acceleration after the catch. These guys are so, so, so unbelievably slow. Nice catch, Burgess, by the way. Eric Burgess. Really nice tackle. And I think the scoreboard is gone. I'm going to go into replay mode and fix that. All right. First and 10. I thought it was, it was going to be end short, but it's a fresh set of downs. We're going to try quarterback draw. That's, you know, that's decent blocking, to be fair. Look at Dorian Hood lower the shoulder, pick it up the first. Hard fought, well-earned yardage. Dorian Hood is Cam Newton. Up the middle, lower the shoulder, just go through him. It's only a matter of time before we get popped doing that. Huge hit stick and put the football on the ground. But for right now, it's working. And so few things actually do work. Why not just keep going to it? Look, good blocks, good blocks. Hood is stopped on that time, but this is working. Third and inches, we're gonna get him with play action. Got the linebackers. Throw on the run and we got it. Shocked that was accurate. I'm getting, I'm, I'm playing like I'm playing with Paul Garrison. I gotta not do that. You guys are big Lions franchise fans. Hopefully a lot of you are. It's a fun series. Shallow cross, Williams underneath. Another five yard gain, okay. We're starting to come alive on offense a little bit. Starting to come alive. The big thing has actually, shockingly, been running the football with Dorian Hood. I'm as shocked as anybody. I don't really like, I don't really want to uh, call read option here. What can we do? End zone fade. Williams on an out. Don't give me the tips. There it is. A little out. Steven Williams. He'll be close to the first down. It's actually not first and goal here somehow. It's about maybe an inch. Underneath. Burgess. Nice catch. Dangerous. Dangerous, but we got it there. Good way to shield by Eric Burgess. Should we try counter again? Come out with three defensive linemen when I do this. Second time now. Up the middle. Battle. I think that's the best way to pick up the yardage on that. It really does look like it'd be wide open to the left. You know, rocking with the counter. But it's not. It's not. I like it here, though. Please play the quarterback. He didn't play the quarterback. Doesn't matter. Dorian Hood trucks over him. Get off the tracks when the train's coming through. Dorian Hood... Power play went right through a DB. Big touchdown. And this is a touchdown game. If we can nail the extra point. We got the wind. He j hey, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, this kicker is just the worst. Yeah, yeah man. All right. <laughs> this is the punter on kickoff duty. All right. We're going to have to go for two next time we score a touchdown. But hopefully there is a next time. The offense was fun to play on that drive. Now we need our defense to play really well as well. Tui Oti's gonna run. Man, Oakley just got spun around. 19 yard rush for Tui Oti. I have no idea how we're gonna contain him. He's averaging 20 yards a pop, but it's just when you have to account for the running back and all these different receivers, they have so many different ways to beat us. 
I want to say that man blitzes will be the best way. But I really don't know about that. Nice tackle, Santos. Eric Claxton in there as well. Is it er Eric Claxton? And now it sounds weird because of Eric Clapton. Joel. I think his name is Joel. Joel Claxton. Nice play. Third and eight. They're going to throw over the middle and complete to Emmanuel Logan Green. Fill the lane. Can't get over there. We're blocked into oblivion. Bobby Cole is a menace. How many yards is he averaging a pop here? I feel like he's doing maybe 12 yards minimum a carry. Option and down goes to EOT. Really nice play. That's Pop Jackson. Popped him in the backfield. Way to play the quarterback. Really nice play there. We have so rare TFL opportunities and where we actually convert on them too. So uh, awesome to see somebody making a play there. And we got man coverage across the board. And they're going to run the ball. Nice tackle. Jordan Crest limited to four yards. What do we do here? Let's go cover three. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried because this requires guys to cover. Which the team can't do. They're going to run a delay. Oh, nice hit. Look at that tackle. Jordan Young making a really nice play on third down. Limiting the yardage. And I think they'll, they'll probably make this field goal. But it's not easy. It's not a gimme. And it's moving left and it's missing. Wide left on the kick. What a stop by the defense. And it's going to stay a touchdown game. Again, we need that two-point conversion if we score. But great stop by the defense. All right. That's not good. Got to beat zone coverage here. That's just open. Dorian, my man. Oh, you're bad. We just can't miss. We can't miss those. Underneath? We have it. Please throw the ball accurately. God, this quarterback sucks. I mean, we ran the ball on first down, right? Didn't get anything. Running on second and 10 is just rarely the call. Maybe the call more in college football. But, you know, we, we were just in a tough spot there. Bad throws and drops will be the death of us. We finally get a stop on defense, and it doesn't matter for anything. And I abandon my run fill. It's my favorite thing to do up the middle. Davon Vigilant. That is a college name. They're going to throw over the middle. Dude, how can... <laughs> I, I'm trying to hit stick. I feel like I'm right on him. And it's just, they managed to evade. They hit me with the shimmy and I, I'm lost. I'm lost. It's going to be a run somehow. Up the middle. Claxton, big hit. Cole is going to lose a couple. Nice play. I believe it's Joel Claxton. I've been calling him Eric. It's not his name. We do have an Eric. It's Eric Burgess, the receiver. Not Eric Claxton. It is definitely Joel. All right, let's confuse the left guard here. Oh, what is that? It's a screen. Why would it switch me on to the safety instead of 97 in pursuit? First down, New Mexico. Oh, my goodness. Throwing over the middle and touchdown, Cedric Patterson. There's no window there, yet somehow the window was wide open. Good juice to the outside. Bush has some speed as well. Kenny Bush down the sideline. 48-yard return. Kenny Bush is actually pretty awesome. Two-minute drill. We do have timeouts. Time is not going to be a problem at all in this. It's just whether we can actually move the football. R1 was open. I didn't see him until it was too late. Tried to step up in the, and run for it. No. Looking for the out here. Price with the catch. I don't know if we got any. Three yards. Can I disable tips anywhere, please? Where is that? Stop giving me tips. I'm on Heisman difficulty. I don't, I don't need oh, Chris X to snap the ball. I don't need that. I'm on Heisman. I need I need time from the line. I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to get it. 
New Mexico will probably score again before the half is over. Man, I, I we just needed a little bit more time to throw. I, I didn't feel like we had enough time to run the ball confidently. And I think part of that is because we were unsuccessful on first down. We're going to lose a couple on this one. That might help us keep them out of the end zone. I don't know, though, because all it takes is one handoff to Bobby Cole that I don't play perfectly with every player on the field. And it's a touchdown. Because this guy will break a bunch of tackles. He'll bounce off a bunch. They could keep it with the quarterback. They have options. He's going to throw it away. It's that first incompletion of the game. Somebody make a play. Tui is going to run. Oakley, diving, got his ankles. Call a timeout. Let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive. Digging the sweater vest from Coach Dangus today. Timeout there is a really, really bold call. But I'm going to say defense makes a play. I don't know why I would bank on that. That feels like a stupid decision. But they're going to run the ball. And we're going to stop them. Let's call a timeout. If you think for a second that Dorian Hood has the arm to hit Price on this deep corner, you are mistaken. Duval can't bring it in. Yeah, you know what? We knew the result of that before we even called it. Uh, I had to throw the ball a little bit earlier, but we knew we weren't going to score. I just have to believe, because if I stop believing, you know, what do I have at that point? And with 22 seconds left, I fear that we've left them too much time. As insane as that sounds, I fear that we have. Hopefully, I don't even want to say hopefully they decide to run it. Because I'm not sure that we can tackle in space and stop a run. It's a read option. Okay, nice play. That'll take us to the end of the first half. A turbulent first half is a good way to describe it. A turbulent first half. New Mexico is a pretty good team. But we started to figure them out a little bit. And when I say figure them out, by the way, I mean more like I figured out for the most part how to contain their offense better than we did, which isn't saying much, right? As we're just going to try and keep them inside and enforce them into tackles. I have not figured out how to move the ball on the defense. I thought I did, and then we haven't been able to run the ball since. So it's a little bit still up in the air what we're going to do about that three down lineman is a mistake oh that that would have been a really nice play Claxton makes a tackle saves the first down we just can never wrap up on the first this time we can never do it I need this to be a run on third and two I need it to be we're playing for it they're going to pass two is going to scramble they had a touchdown on the left side I took Santos he was in a deep zone and I said nah, I'm not doing that and I just came up to play the run they had a touchdown. Two EOT tried to run. Uh, I got bailed. Got bailed big time. Because that's a TD. Throwing corner. Young can't get there. Neither can Santos. They can just do whatever they want in the air. We just don't have the cover skills. Don't have the cover skills at all. It's a screen and Two EOT gets sacked. Couldn't get the ball off. It's Jeremy Abbott. I think he was moved to third D tackle, but he's going to be in on 5-2, and he makes a really nice play there. That's just the type of dedication that we need. Just get after the quarterback and make a play. Now we're trusting guys in man coverage. This probably won't go well. The screen to the other side. Young, I need you. That's good enough. Third and 20. They're well out of field goal range. What do you do here if you are New Mexico? I honestly think they're going to run the ball and just try to settle for a field goal. What I don't want them to do is try and get the first down because I fear that they will. They're going to go over the middle. Cruz, nice hit. Okay. It's going to be field goal range. They're going to get a field goal probably. That's all right. That's all right. They've missed one in this game. This one feels a lot closer. So I would guess this is probably a make. But you never know to be fair. Kick is up and almost wide left. Sneaks in though. Okay, here's what I'm going to try. We're going to run the ball on first down. If it doesn't work, I'm going to run the ball on second down. All right, battle gets eight yards though. That's going to be really good. That's what we couldn't do at the end of the first half. Trying to run the football and just couldn't. He's only averaging 3.9 yards per carry. 
after an eight yard run we need more yards per carry to have me be like okay we can run the ball effectively against this team battle up the middle we did not get the first down on that there looked like there was a ton of space we got i mean we got a freaking o lineman riding a defensive lineman like a freaking horse third and inches I'm, I'm handing this off either way it was a handoff all the way let's go battle I need O lineman to body this team. That's perfect. That's a good run on second and 10. We can run the ball on second and 10. I have to remember that. First down doesn't mean much. Gonna try a screen here. I think we can run the ball on third and five, too. What does this change to? Read option. Yeah, let, let's trust it. Let's trust it. Up the middle, battle. It's tackled just short of the first. It's fourth and one. We're obviously going for it here. The question is, what do we dial up? Speed option's not a bad idea. I'm a little bit worried about calling it in this spot. I want something just straight up the middle. We're going to try halfback gut here. Three down linemen. I mean, I like this up the middle. We got to have it. We got to have it. Battle first down. I kind of like this mid screen. It's a little bit zany, a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit creative. And it's good for a couple yards. We just got to know the right scenarios to call that. And receivers really aren't dropping that a lot. The passes seem to be pretty accurate on screens, which is nice. And on second and three, because I'm confident now in our third and fourth down abilities, I am going to try and pass and get this here. My, my main look just got tackled, but it worked out for the best. Steven Williams, 21 yards on what might be the longest catch in Riverside Royals history. 21 yards. It's a great pass. I mean, there's nothing you can say about that other than that. It's just a great pass. Really nice catch as well to actually, oh, I don't know, catch it. We're going to run speed option. Get up the middle. Get up the middle, Dorian. Six-yard run. Let's go speed option again. Up the middle, Dorian for one. That's a long one, though. Let's call, let's call a hurry up here. Now, we could be pitching that, but I feel like we have guaranteed yardage. Guaranteed yardage. Up the middle. Hood. Two-yard run. We're going to call hurry up again. I like this, man. I like this speed option. Dorian Hood just falls forward. Listen, they want to stack the box. They don't want to account for the running back. Up the middle. And the picture of Dorian Hood has him in the end zone. Like that reference... Big touchdown, Dorian Hood on the ground. That is the offense. That's what we got to get back to. Just run the ball at Dorian Hood, who has no speed, by the way. It's amazing we're able to accomplish that. Let's change what this New Mexico front looks like. Three down linemen. I don't like how close the safety is. We're going to run the ball anyway. Battle up the middle. Two-point conversion is successful, and we're only down by 10. Defense has stepped up. Time's running out. But that's a big score. It's a big confidence boost for this offense, too. We know what we have to do. It's it passes every once in a while. That's the unit of measurement for how often. Oh, he's off to the races. Young, get up the field. Saves a touchdown. That's a 50-yard return to the 50. Okay. We're on the running back now. He's going to take off. Tuioti gets sacked. That's Ryan Haynes. Had a little bit of help as well. They're going to give it to Ryan Haynes, though. Great team effort to bring down the quarterback. Third and 11. Cover four should mean that we're not giving up anything over the top. But you never know with this team, man. You never know. Throwing sideline first down. <laughs> the thing is, we can't get a sack and then allow a first down. It's just a killer. Tight end in motion. This could be dangerous because we're going to try and get out there. They go right up the seam. Right up the seam. Just a really good call for the blitz. Tried to dial up something fun. Nothing fun's happening here. It's another run. Where is Haynes, man? Come on. Was he reading the quarterback? Switched on too late. It's a touchdown, New Mexico. And they are pretty much going to more than double our points here. 31-14. Last play of the third quarter. The problem is, like, 
the only way we move the ball is like read option and running but I don't really think we have the time to do that and still be in the game. I haven't really figured out a way around it. That's that's the other thing. We're gonna go speed option again. Just gotta take it up the middle. Dorian Hood, I, he tried to pitch it. I tried to truck. Dorian Hood now over 50 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Man, is he bad, but that is a, that is a nice gain. We had a nice strategy going on here. Take it up the middle. Hood broke a tackle, saved a sack, got two. I do feel forced to run the ball, though. Give me a block. Give me a block. Please, dude, you guys got to get up the field. We got four. It's fourth and four. You know what I really like on this is like, ooh, that receiver mid-screen. And if it's not there, I guess I can scramble. This is a ballsy call on fourth and four. It's got to be open. It's not open. It's not open. It's not open. <laughs> we got sacked. I mean, they covered everything. They took it away. That's why you can't run that on fourth down. I said it earlier, and I, I came back and did it this time. It's just, if it's not there, you're screwed, and it wasn't there. What am I going to do? What, the scramble wasn't there. Nothing was. It's a tough play. He's going to break a tackle. That's going to be a touchdown. <laughs> He's just unstoppable, man. 29-yard touchdown run. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, play action, counter, waggle action. Kind of a naked boot. Just get up the middle. I mean, he's going to fumble eventually. Play action. We're getting out. And we're getting sacked. Look at that play. <laughs> Third and 13. Going to call a screen. And, um... He just has no speed. He has no speed. I'll tell you, there's probably no scenario where we convert this. There just really isn't one. We need to get lucky. Little lob. We got Burgess. He's going to be just short. He's going to be just short. Oh, they're going to give us the first. Oh, my goodness. That's about as close as that gets. That is crazy. Pretty good throw, all things considered. We're going up the seam. Nothing there. Latavion beaten with the Latavion bat down. I'm sorry about that one. Hood, get up and out. There we go. That's a good run. That's a good run. Going to the back. We got blockers. Uh, they didn't really block, though. It's a problem. Face mask, though. That's not a hold. It's not a hold. That's a face mask. There that is. All right. First down. We'll take it any way we can get it. We'll run up the middle here. A little change of direction. I don't know what Battle's stat line is. It can't be that good. Three and a half yards per carry. It's been a tough New Mexico defense to run on. I, I think we've done it semi-effectively. They've just been a good team, man. Kind of all there is to it. A scramble with Hood. It's just been the only constant in this game is being able to move the ball with him on the ground. I know he's averaging 2.9 per carry. Sacks are weighted into that, and I've, I've taken a couple for sure. Good timing. What a throw, and it's an Eric Burgess 23-yard touchdown. The timing on that was immaculate. Hood stood tall in the pocket, dropped a dime over the middle, and Eric Burgess has, I believe, the first receiving touchdown in Riverside Royals history going for two here read option gotta be gotta be read option here if they stop it good for them up the middle hood short down by 18 though with under two minutes to play third and inches we called the time out there we're gonna run commit mid we just gotta sell out here because if it's not I mean we lose a big stop fourth and inches i mean we're not in the game anymore if we got the two-point conversion we're technically in the game still but we're not anymore and this could be big for morale though oh that's open what a throw stephen williams down the sideline dude why do we slow down i don't get why it's a, we can never catch the ball in stride 
Like, that confuses me when I'm holding up. Where, where do these passes come from, by the way? Duval Breaks a tackle! Dude, what's happening? That's a stupid throw. He just happened to luckily bounce off the sideline exactly when I released that ball. That's super lucky. Third and goal. Is that open? We got it there. Steven or Elgin Collins! I thought that was Steven Williams. Elgin Collins, who couldn't hit water if he fell off a boat, just made an incredible catch. That is the highlight of the game, even in a loss. Check this out. He was wide open, lobbed it instead of the bullet. Elevated. One hand, mossed him, touchdown. Oh, that's so nasty. Trying to make it a 10 point game. Oh, what a slant. What a bullet. Dorian Hood has turned into a different animal here in the fourth quarter. And receivers are actually beginning to catch the ball. I mean, that is one of our better receivers, Steven Williams. And we are down 38-28. I forgot about this. I don't really know how this works. It's still like completely random. Recovered by Patterson. And that is the ball game. Honestly, good effort to come back. We somehow were in this game, despite not looking like we belong nearly the entire thing. We lost by 10. Some garbage time points in there. But you know what? Fought pretty hard and made it a reasonable score line. So you gotta you gotta give credit where it's due. We didn't give up. Should have, but didn't. Dorian Hood final stat line. I mean it's amazing. 9.2 per completion. It's not per attempt. But 20 of 33, 184 and two touchdowns, no picks. I, I mean, it, it looks like he was a lot better than he actually was early on, at least. Did have two touchdowns on the ground. Trey Battle was a workhorse, but it wasn't really all that good. Receiving, Stephen Williams, six for 77. Eric Burgess had a touchdown. Uh, of course, Elgin Collins did have a big drop, but also a sick touchdown. It's kind of the player he is, I guess. And then tackle for loss for Ryan Haynes, Brett Claxton. Brett was like, I know I called him Eric. Did I decide on? I thought it was Joel after. Man, I'm giving that guy no respect. <laughs> Zaire Cruz, Pop Jackson, and Jeremy Abbott. Also two sacks, Jeremy Abbott and Ryan Haynes. No interceptions, obviously. No forced fumbles. But uh, overall, like, not a bad game. Ooh, Gene Dangus is now level two. So that's going to be a big coaching skill tree upgrade. And of course, it's going to be scouting. That's just the best one to do right out the gate, if I remember correctly. So we're going to keep doing that. And again, we didn't get the win here, but... You know, we played them pretty tight, despite allowing touchdowns most of the time. And now we have recruits ready to visit including Jonathan Horton, who's my biggest want right now. Now, the only problem is that corner. I wanted the corner to be ready to visit in Nick Palmer. Again, we are fighting to hold on. It is going to be a battle, and I've, I've said that a lot, but it really will be. But we'll find out what happens as the season goes on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. At the park, Ben Bones, see me high step to the end zone. My life like a game, Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train coming through. Yeah, promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah, I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.